why try to be somebody else? Just be you and be the best you that you can be. CEOs, what's up? It's your boy, CEO Hopshun. I'm back with another video, and it's that time of the week, so let's get into a message of the week. This is to remind you and in a way regain that focus on those powerful thoughts that you might not always feel and or be present in due to the life you live. This is meant for you to relate with us, go forth with and applying the message to yourself. Whether you're working on a five, a 10 school, part-time and or full-time, raising a family of your own, let alone having to be the man of the house or the woman of the house, an athlete, someone who is living paycheck to paycheck, currently dealing with a loss and et cetera. This is just a few things that come to my mind as of right now. Can you get the point? It's meant for everyone and their mamas. Also, I say currently in regard to living paycheck to paycheck because I know you can and will get yourself out that system. That being said, the message of the week for this week is there isn't another you. Let's be the best you that you can be. Realize that you are the most permanent thing in your life. That being said, ensure that you are one with thyself. Matter of fact, be yourself, true to self that is. Do what makes you genuinely happy, what satisfies your wants, your needs, your desires. Yet they want you to feel like to be you, you gotta be like them. However, refrain from aligning oneself to that ideology, simply due to the fact that as is, you are you. And lastly, know that as is, you are valid. As is, you are great. Thus, love yourself wholeheartedly. If not you, then. If not you, who will. Reality is what you do next. And with that being said, I have these two screenshots that I feel like go best what I had to share with you for this week's message of the week. So let's get into them. The first one says this. Make authenticity more important than approval. Let me say that one more time. Make authenticity more important than approval. Last but not least, the second one says this. Enjoy your own life with your own rules. You soon realize that it doesn't matter what others think of you. Let me say that one more time. Enjoy your own life with your own rules. You'll soon realize that it doesn't matter what others think of you. I feel like growing up when we're young, especially <clears throat> our attention, our focus is really not even onto ourselves. Like, I feel like we're so focused on what others think about us, what others will say or what they might say. But it's like, yo, like, prioritize being your most authentic self. And you'll realize, too, when you're just being yourself, when you're just doing you, when you're in your own lane, life becomes easier to an extent. Like, life as in itself is not easy. Like, I feel like we don't even understand that. We don't even acknowledge that, like, life is really an everyday battle. Again, when you do, when you finally do recognize that, one, you are the most permanent thing in your life, when you realize that you, as is, you've been valid, that you are worthy of anything and everything that you deem necessary in this life of yours. Like, when you recognize that, like, yo, this is truly your life, that's when you really like, like you, you figure out and you just start gravitating towards your actual wants, your needs, your desires. Like you realize that there isn't another you. So why try to be somebody else? Just be you and be the best you that you can be. Like make being your authentic self more important than trying to satisfy the needs, the expectations that others have for you, that they have set up for you. Sometimes I want to be asking people when they try to like, when they expect you to do this and that, be like, okay, but what are you expecting of yourself though? Like, why are you so focused on me and what I got going on? I feel like the, in a way it's, it's, it's trying to distract us or something, or you're just not trying to have me be me. But it's like, when you realize that, you know, you are you, when you realize that like you are the most permanent thing in your life, you realize that like, you don't even know about tomorrow. So do I really want to be focusing my energy, my time, my actions, my efforts trying to please this person? Or can I just be me and go after what I want? Because I don't know about tomorrow and I don't want to waste another second doing something I don't truly want to do. You feel me? Realize there isn't another you like there isn't. You could be around people who are like you. And if anything, Try to be around people who are like you or who make you the best you that you can be. But don't stop until you're around people like that, until you have, you've, 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 you've surrounded yourself. You are revolved around your wants, your needs, your desires, what you feel like is important, what you want, not what others want. And I feel like if anything, that's pretty much it that I just wanted to share with y'all for this week, for this week's message of the week, you know?
Like there isn't another you realize that. Appreciate that. Don't feel like you got to be like them to then be you, to be somebody, because you have been somebody this whole time. And if you don't know who that somebody is that you are, figure it out. Take some time, like take some time, actually, like give yourself a day, even an hour, 30 minutes, just start writing down things that, you know, you like, which you don't like. All right. With that being said, that's pretty much it. I felt like sharing with y'all for this week's message of the week. Be the best you that you can be. You know, you can't really focus. You can't really control the outcome, but you can control your efforts, your actions, what you choose to do next. Reality is what you do next. So be the best you that you can be. All right. With that being said, it's your boy, CEO. Obviously, I'm going to catch you tomorrow. I love y'all. Peace.